Well, well, well. It doesn't get any bigger than this. The Colorado Avalanche were on a nine-game winning streak heading into last night's game, and the Montreal Canadiens, well, they were on an equally impressive one-game winning streak. Should we be scared? Absolutely not. Samuel Montembeau gets to start for the Canadians just as for a Noonan gets to start for the Avs. The puck is dropped, and it doesn't even take a minute for Nathan McKinnon to get on the board. Tick, tack, goal. Man, he makes it look easy. Caden Gooley was trying to take away the pass, but look at everybody else. Come on. But only nine seconds later, Nick Suzuki's going to answer right back. He's going to out-muscle Middlestad and just slip one between the legs of Anunan. And honestly, I don't even know what this guy was doing. Talk about stiff looking. He's just standing there like a freezer-burnt french fry. That's goal number 29 for Nick Suzuki. And Slavkovsky picks up an assist. And we're going to talk about that one towards the end of the video. Now, of course, the Canadians do run into some penalty trouble during the first period. Nick Suzuki gets caught for a hook. Arbor Jack Eye gets caught for damn near turning Miles Wood into splinters. I mean, he tries to plead his case, but you know how it goes. Go on and get in the box, Arby. Look at the size of his hands. The Canadians do a great job killing off these penalties, and with just over five minutes to go in the first period, New Hook fires a shot from the point. Mario digs out the rebound and pulls off a beauty of a wraparounder. Oh my god, is this kid good or what? He's six foot eight, outstretched. He just turned 17 like last week. Don't tell Gary Bittman. And he's got 12 goals right now. The future is bright. Two to one is your final score after 20 minutes of play. The shots on goal are also pretty even. Now we're going to move on to the second period where Miko Rantanen is going to spin. He's going to shoot. And he's going to hit one of these stupid digital ads on the boards. And you know what? I kind of felt bad for this guy last night. He played a really good game, but just kept missing his target. And you want to know who else I felt bad for? Ned Flanders. That's right, because he's always happy like Flanders. Flanders gets a two-minute minor for high sticking. He didn't try it, but luckily, his teammates bail him out. And this is how you do it, right here. You got to do it like Jack Eye. You put pucks in deep, and then you put them to sleep. But once again, the second period was very even. Okay, the shots were seven apiece. Now we're going to hit on to the third period, where time is beginning to run out. McKinnon is under pressure, and he was out there exploding like diarrhea up a baby's back. But still, nobody's able to get one past Mountain Ball. With only nine minutes left to go in the game, Sean Walker is going to make a really stupid mistake. Look at him. Just sticks a gaff in Josh Anderson, who's probably only going to miss the net anyway. Marty St. Louis gets a pretty good chuckle about it, and Colorado fans watch in horror as two minutes fade away from the clock. Now, with five minutes remaining in the game. <gasps> no way. Is that Sean Walker up to it again? <laughs> yes, yes. He gets to stick up high on Brendan Gallagher. Galley shows everybody the Heinz catch up, which means we got a four minute double minor, which of course was four minutes where Nathan McKinnon wasn't even on the ice. Due to six minutes on the power play, the Canadians easily close out the remainder of the period. And two to one is your final score. The final shots on goal were 28 to 27 in favor of Colorado. And overall, despite there being, you know, zero goals after the first period, it was a pretty good game. It was really nice seeing Marty St. Louis get back behind the Habs bench. And it was also really nice to see Uri Slavkovsky pick up his 40th point of the season and take a bite out of some Habs history. I mean, it's almost hard to believe that he's the very first teenager in Habs history to pick up 40 points in a season. But still, it does kind of make sense because obviously when the Canadians were a wagon back in the golden years, teenagers weren't very common anyway. But he's got 40 points. He's the best 19-year-old kid that I can remember playing on the Canadians in my lifetime. He's also on an eight-game point streak right now, his second eight-game point streak of the season, and I absolutely love it. So you can go ahead and let me know your thoughts down in the comment section. Please don't forget to Sean Walker that like button before you leave here. And hey, I'll see you next time.